So we're just now coming to the end of Mo Arc Road at the southernmost side of Missouri. You can see a big red gate there. Uh, that's the, the neighbor's driveway. And we're gonna cut left. So Mo Arc Road just ended. And we're gonna cut left onto the uh, gravel road to the property. And this is where you may encounter a gate or a cable. Um, we'd be happy to give you the combo for that. There we go. So we'll pull on through here in a second. But also I wanted to mention, um, if you want to drive to State Line Cove, pull through that first gate, and then instead of continuing south, if you go off to the field, go off to the east, and um, there's kind of a trail that kind of runs along the uh, the tree line at the field, and that will take you all the way down to State Line Cove. You can take a truck or an SUV right down to the water, um, and actually, I guess you could put your uh, your boat or jet ski in right there. Um, so we do own this property, and and you've got our permission to use that. I mean, it's not an easement or anything, but as long as we own this this chunk right here, you're welcome to to do that uh, if you want some easier access to State Line Cove if you don't want to um, necessarily put a trail in um, going east on your property then this gives you a really good option to still get to the water and you'll see that big tower there this used to be a buffalo ranch and that I guess was a viewing station um, so everybody could look at the buffalo so now we're pulling through to the south uh, and just follow the follow the gravel road. Beautiful open meadow. We always see deer and turkey out here. Uh, this is the the nearest neighbor. Super nice uh, guy and his wife retired. Beautiful lake view. So. We're, at, we're still at the north side of the peninsula. We've actually got some core land on the right there. Those white pickets indicate the Corps of Engineer land. And we're gonna keep heading south. So this large gray metal building, it's a really good landmark because that's where uh, we come to the Y in the road. So we've just passed the building, pile of gravel, but that won't be there forever. Um, but we'll, we come to the Y in the road. And now we're going to go um, left at the Y in the road. If we were to go right, we would continue all the way down. It goes all the way down to the south side of the peninsula uh, where that really cool sandy beach area is. So, I mean, that's, that's awesome. There are some rough sections in the road. Um, so if you're not in a truck or an SUV, you probably don't want to head down that way. For the most part, it's good, but there is one uh, rocky area where you kind of have to um, go up some rocks. But anyway, <laughs> we go to the left. It's just, the, the wildlife out here is amazing. It's like a, I don't know, a private zoo. This, this whole peninsula, uh, it seems like there are some herds of deer and um, and turkeys and whatnot that, that just stay out here because almost every single morning we see uh, 10 or 15 or 20 deer in that field. Um, we've been seeing turkey all the time. Now we've come to another Y in the road and this time we're going to uh, head to the right. If you go left it just goes to a small field and stops right away. We're going to veer to the right. Really, you do want to have that MapRite link, if at all possible. Download the MapRite app to your, your smartphone or your tablet, and then we'll send you the link to the active MapRite map. And then if you open your email on your phone, it'll say, do you want to open this? Uh, because we'll email you the link. It'll If you open that email, it will say, do you want to open this link within the MapRite program? And you'll say yes. And then the actual interactive map um, from the listing will open up and there'll be a little blue dot that indicates where you are. So it's it's by far the best way to uh, to look at these tracts.
because this can certainly be confusing. I've been out here many times and I'm still confused by the road system. Obviously these are fairly primitive roads or trails. Um, that is by design. These will never be large paved roads. This is really more for, uh, for truck and SUV lifestyle. Okay, so we're parked here. We're really close to the property, um, but just for reference, we're parked um, at the, uh, the kind of the west side of track nine. As we look to the north, that's the separate road that goes to, to track six, seven, and eight. We're on the main road with track nine on the left, and we're gonna go just a little further, and we'll see the property on the right side. It's pretty early in the morning, and unfortunately we pretty much have the sun right in our eyes so we'll just have to deal with that we saw a ton of deer already this morning the standard huge herd of deer was kind of waiting for us at the north end of the peninsula and I've got my map right map open to, to tell us where we are okay so now that's the tract uh, on the right the map shows this is tracked uh, 64 good size tract I'm gonna go a little further, um, kind of toward the, the northeast corner, and then we'll look back at the property. So then we won't be staring into the sun, we'll have the sun behind us. Oh, and this one's gonna have a, a good little surprise I didn't um, recall. Okay, so let's do this. Let's, I'm gonna turn around here. middle of winter but we're we're going to have a beautiful day it's going to be in the upper 60s today which I don't mind at all in the winter time okay so now as we look uh, northerly basically that's the property on the left already I can tell we've got quite a bit of timber uh, many different types we've got hardwood we've got cedars now this property and I didn't realize it until we actually got out here today um, this has kind of a private grassy area that goes around behind these trees to a private site. And I do recall the very first time we looked at uh, this entire tract that I did come back here um, on the four-wheeler actually. So really, um, if this were mowed, you'd have a ready-made spot right here. This looks to be far enough off that easement road that you could potentially build or camp here if you wanted to. This is awesome. Yep, I didn't even realize that this little area was out here. Um, I mean, do some measurements to be sure, but if you're 100 feet off the easement road, um, you could use this for your your building site or whatnot if you wanted to Really cool super private. You've got those cedar trees right there um, And obviously they they keep their needles all year. So even in the winter time, you've got a really nice buffer from that road I mean, this is when we create sites. This is exactly what we're trying to accomplish and it's already done As we walk a little further in This looks like a really, really usable tract. More or less level, it probably um, slopes up gently, if anything. We've got cedar trees, we've got hardwood trees. Obviously with it being winter time, there's no leaves on the trees, but it's a good time to look at property. You really get to see how the ground is situated. There's been no logging out here that, that we're aware of uh, for decades, possibly for firewood, um, but certainly no commercial logging, as you can tell. And we've got all different types of trees, from hardwoods to cedars. Um, we'll do a drone video as well to really get a look at it. 
Now here we've got an old fence. That is not a any type of boundary. That's just an old um, cross fence that someone put up at some point. But look at that. We've got good timber. Uh, it levels off again up there. There's some nice hardwood trees out here. Wow. If you wanted just a, a very private site, back here would be awesome. We're a few hundred feet off the road. We're completely private. Beautiful, beautiful property. And that was a nice bonus having that uh, that meadow area kind of wrap around behind the cedar trees. I did not expect that when we were driving out here. You know, there are a lot of potential building sites on this. This is very open. I mean, 20 minutes with the chainsaw and, and you could be uh, parking your RV back here and hanging out and spending the weekend. I think I'll head back to the truck and we're gonna do a drone video and get a look at this. The sun is just now getting high enough to, to get us out of the shadows. Oh, and this is awesome. We're extremely close to Bull Shoals Lake. Look at the maps to see, uh, uh, to see that, but I mean, fantastic. You will find deer and turkey everywhere out here. Nice timber. Now the timber can't be cut until the property's been paid for in full. Uh, however, we know that if you're creating a, a building site or some trails or whatnot, good chance that you're going to want to remove some of the some of the big timber. Um, you just have to mark the trees that, that you'd like to remove, and we can send a guy out here to look at that um, and uh, give you written permission. Super nice. I can hear a boat off in the distance, so somebody's already out playing on the lake. Instantacres.com, that's us. <laughs>